everyone, it's Kelsey here, and today I have a layout to share with you using the Kiss Kiss collection from Create Paper. Um, I started out with this um, pink and white striped diagonal, or it's kind of a cream colored, and um, I've really liked my black mist lately, so I definitely knew that I wanted to start out with that. Um, also because I had the black and white photo, but just because I've really been liking black mist lately. Um, and... So I started off with that, and I'm just going to let it dry for a little bit. Um, it's just going to take a few minutes. And I decided to pull out my 6x6 paper pad um, from the Kiss Kiss collection and see what I wanted to use as kind of the background for my um, photo or a photo mat. And one thing I don't like about the paper pads is that when they rip out, it, it leaves like this little jagged edge at the top from the tear strip, and that just really drives me nuts, so I always cut it off. Um, so I wish they would make it a little bit bigger, just because, yeah, I'm always cutting a small strip off. Um, so normally I would not have chose this pattern of paper. It's kind of hard to see here, but it's that, um, it's like a black and white paper, and it's just got hearts on it, but they look kind of like gems. And it's just not my favorite part, you know, of the collection. Um, I don't love the jeweled look, but I, um... I really like it as a background paper so and I kept feeling like this needed something else behind that paper layer so I pulled out one of my 12 by 12 papers just to kind of see and I really like that bold XO pattern and I really needed something a little bit bigger I really prefer the 8 by 8 paper pads just because you can fo um, put a photo mat behind a 4 by 6 photo but it is what it is so Anyway, um, I definitely liked having the black and white behind the photo, even though the photo is black and white as well, just because I think it needed something to like lift it off that pink page that I'm working with. Um, I've really been enjoying using black and white photos lately. I think so many of my photos I don't like because they are... Um, like the colors are distracting or the lights distracting or my skin tones not even because I don't really wear makeup so black and white just makes everything look better <laughs> in my opinion and this is actually an older photo um it's gosh it's probably like a year at least a year old by now and I've already scrapbooked it a couple times but I just really like the photo of my husband and I so we don't take enough photos together this is always my complaint um we don't take enough photos together but um, yeah, I don't mind reusing the same photo, because really, it's just fun to play with supplies. Um, I, as you can see there, I dropped that sticker on my photo, and I hate reprinting photos. I just, I don't even know why, because I print them at home, so it's not even that big of a deal. I just hate it. So, um, that's why I ended up putting a few things on the photo to cover up the little spot of sticky stuff that got left behind and I actually really like it. I never really mind putting stickers or embellishments on photos as long as I think it looks good and in this case I wasn't sure that it was going to turn out looking good because at that point I was just trying to cover up a mistake but I actually really like the way it turned out. Luckily it landed in a spot where there was a little bit of like white space um, so it, w it didn't like land right in the middle of my forehead or something <laughs> so for this um, I'm really just playing around a lot with the embellishments I've I found it really hard to like play with embellishments lately I don't know why I used to be better about layering a little bit but now I just can't figure out where I want everything <laughs> so I did put that little heart on the heart circle on that pink and white stripe um, embellishment and then I took the black and white vellum striped heart and put it behind that little opening on the U plus me equals always card and I really like the way that turned out I just I like the vellum I like the stripes I think it came out really good and I I love the fact that they used black and white so much for a Valentine's collection and I even tried to play around and pick something else for the back of that um, little blank heart space because I was like well I don't really want to use my black and white vellum heart I really like that heart and I didn't want to just hide it behind there but ultimately that's what I ended up liking and 
really, there's so many supplies that I don't use that I might as well just use what I have when I get the urge to because it's going to get put away at some point and then it's so easy to forget stuff in your collection. So I'm really just trying to let go and use my supplies even if I'm like, oh, but I want to hoard that forever because <laughs> ultimately now it got used. And I did cut it in half so I could always use half the heart <laughs> later. Um, I doubt if I end up using it, but, you know, I, I have the option now. So as you can see here, I'm just trying to figure out where I want things to go and just still playing with those embellishments. I really like that forever and I felt like the, it needed something else in that bottom corner to kind of round out my embellishment cluster on the photo. So I put that there. And then I just put some of these chipboard and paper cardstock embellishments around. Um, I kind of switched from having a diagonal to having it just more straight across. And at this point, I'm pretty much just gluing stuff down. Um, I really like those hearts or those arrows that are above the photo. I don't know. I just really like it. So this is definitely like a fun layout, and I had a good time with it, even though it's pretty simple. But, and then I couldn't decide on my title, if I wanted a title. Um, so I kind of went back and forth with a few things, but ultimately I did come back to that um, thicker sheet. Here's the Maggie Holmes thickers, and I just couldn't find anything that I liked. Um, so yeah, I ultimately came back to that love. So that's pretty much going to wrap up the layout. So if you want to see a photo, you can head on over to my blog. There's a link down below. And as always, if you would just please hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out a lot. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.